Welcome to reading um, an Excel spreadsheet um, using Python for Dynamo. So here I have a real simple Excel spreadsheet. It's got a few sheets and a few sheet names. Um, and here's kind of an empty Python node that I'll go ahead and take. And I like using Visual Studios because it has the um, IntelliSense, which always helps me write. So I'm going to go ahead and import Excel from Iron Python using the .NET language of .com. Um, and I'll go ahead and post um, where you can find this um, also on my Git. Uh, so you can just copy and paste it like myself. It's kind of a long reference. It's got the Excel, the version, um, the, the token key. Um, it's kind of long. But the next thing you need to do is from uh, Microsoft Office, uh, interop you need to import Excel after you have Excel you need to get the uh, system runtime interop which will give you the current application that's running at the moment um, and you want to get the marshal which will allow you to shut things down um, since we're not going to make this visible you need to be able to close it manually um, so the first thing I'll do is uh, from the node itself, I'll get the uh, path being brought in through the Dynamo node. Um, and then from here, I'll use my Excel um, import and I'll import the application class. Um, and then the visibility, I'll set it to false. So we won't be able to see it. That's why we need to shut it down manually. Um, and then if it displays an alert, we'll set it to false so it doesn't display any, any alerts to us. Um, and then the workbook um, that I'll get is um, what I'll send in from my path. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get the workbook. Um, you can hard code the open path, but you can also send that in through another Dynamo node, which is very useful. Um, and then once we have our workbook, we need our, our, our worksheet. Um, and then the worksheets are in an array. So the first worksheet, second worksheet, third worksheet. So we'll just go ahead and grab the first worksheet that is in our Excel file. Um, and then we can go ahead and grab a range. Instead of just grabbing a single cell, we'll grab a whole array of, um, of cells. So we'll, from our um, worksheet, we'll get a range. And these are uh, in strings. Um, if, if you feel that your um, array will change, you can always uh, concatenate or, or string build these these strings but I'll just hard code them in a, a1 through a4 and then I'll get a second range on the on the second line um, of or the second column which will be the b1 through the b uh, b4 which will be the the column right next to it So here I'll just grab the the um, the range value um, for for my first range, and then for my second range I'll send that value to R two. Um, and then I'll go ahead and send this out uh, to my next Dynamo node. So that'll be the R R one. And then I'll send out the R2. Um, and here's where I, where I need to use my marshal. Um, so I'll first make sure that the active um, active workbook is is going to be closed. Um, and if there's defaults, I'll set that to false. And then the next part is is actually using the marshal, getting a hold of any run, run, running instances of whatever I've got, and I'll just do, use the marshal um, com object, and I'll send in all all the objects that that, that I've generated here, um, which will be the worksheet, and then I'll just copy and paste that same code because I want to also close my workbook and then the very last thing um, I'll do 
is um, I'll send in my application itself, which is the XE, and then I'll copy and paste it into my Dynamo script. I'll select my file path of my sheet, um, and then I want to run it. This is a previous uh, sheet script that I wrote. Um, there's also a video on YouTube for this if you're interested. Um, notice it fails. It's missing a, a, a bracket there. Um, it's telling me. So we'll look for something with a bracket. Path. Looks like, looks like my path is, is it's got something up. It's missing the first uh, array. So we'll go ahead and resend it. Uh, and it'll take in my, my script and build some sheets. And for um, the first column and the second column of the first column of the sheets, second column the names. So that's about it. Simple as that. Uh, thank you for watching.